All right, we should be going live here. I'm excited about this one. I'll explain a little bit of what's going on here in just a couple of minutes. We're going to give some time for folks to get in because uh, as soon as I went live, that should have sent out a notification to all the subscribers. So it's going to take a little bit for them to get in, but uh, this is my first time playing this mod. I've had the mod for a while, but I haven't actually played it. I I've toyed around with it briefly just to see what it looked like, but... Uh, I haven't really played it yet, and there's a reason why I'm choosing to play it now. I'll explain that here pretty soon. Uh, but right now, what I'm doing is I'm just setting up my army. Uh, I'm fighting against four AI opponents. That way, it gives them a little bigger army. Because uh, I have a feeling with me being on the defensive, I'm going to be able to do pretty good against this. Honestly, I have no idea how it's going to go. Uh, until I get a better feel for the mod, I'm really not going to know what's powerful what's not what works what doesn't how many i'm going to need etc hello stonewall jackson how's it going um but i'm building my army right now and i had a certain amount of funds to buy uh for my army um grumblebee how's it going please don't good to see you um so i know that heavy howitzers are super overpowered on here that's why i'm only going to have two of them uh, and they are expensive you can see um, in fact, I'll just go ahead and show you what all I've got to start with. I got about 17,000 to spend to start out. And, uh, we're going to, we're going to go with, uh, actually, I don't know if I want light tanks. I'm looking at all the different tank options. I do want to get a couple of mortars and we'll definitely get a couple of these howitzers. They're crazy expensive. Connor, how's it going, Mr. Beep? Uh, so I'm building my army. We're fighting on the Tannenberg map. Get some mustard gas. I know there is gas on here. Where did I see that? You can also get machine gun bunkers, which is pretty awesome. Actually, don't I don't see the gas. Oh, there it is. Gas projectors. So we'll get one of those just to try it out. I definitely want a couple of machine guns. In fact, I'll get three of those. This is going to be heavy on the defensive. The reason I'm choosing to do this mod today is um, if we can get the multiplayer to work, the plan is that um, Agrippa Maxentius and I uh, are going to be going to uh, do a series of multiplayer battles, myself versus him, uh, doing this. So... Uh, I've had a little trouble with Napoleon Total War on multiplayer. Like, I couldn't get the Civil War one to work with multiplayer. Uh, something about my network settings, and we couldn't really get around it. So, um, let's get a couple of snipers. And then that leaves 7,600. I definitely want to get some good infantry battalions here. They're rifle battalions. That leaves me with 5,000 still. Won't tanks, like, die from the enemy mortars? I don't know that they will. Not heavy tanks, certainly. Not from light mortars. But there are heavy mortars also, which is basically an artillery battery. But I already have some artillery. And as I said before, I don't want to choose too many of these howitzers because they, they are very, very strong on this game. I do want to at least try out some of the tanks. We've got these Mark II female tanks that are captured. Maybe we'll grab a couple of those. Actually, not that expensive. I guess I can't get any more of this. Some elite battalions here. And that's going to pretty well do me in. Nelson is cleaning. Oh, wait. Nelson's just waiting for us to sing Rule Britannia. That's all. Yeah, I've got two of the heavy howitzers. Uh, I'm not going to do any more of them because they're crazy powerful from what people have said. Um, so yeah, let's dive in. Like I said, I haven't really played this mod, so I don't know what to expect. I don't know if the makeup of my army is good, bad, or indifferent. I don't know if it's going to be really easy or really hard. Honestly, just I guess we'll see. A Serbia campaign. You mean on this game? Yeah, that'd be fun at some point. I, 
at some point I will dive into some of the campaigns on this. For now, I'm just doing the multiplayer just because that's what I'm going to be doing. I mean, right now I'm doing single player, but uh, I'm going to be doing multiplayer with Agrippa and I'm, I'm trying to get a feel for the mod and the game itself a little bit. And I thought a live stream would be a good way to do it. This is the Tannenberg map. Uh, I don't even know if I'm really going to have any idea of what to do. We've got light mortars out here. We're obviously going to want to bring those back, I think. I don't know where he's going to be attacking from. Obviously, in that direction somewhere. Mr. Beep sounds fun. Oh, he's he's summoning. He's summoning. All right, let's bring these heavy howitzers back. Get them unlimbered so they're ready to fire. I don't know what the range is on those things, but I want to see. Uh, apparently, they can pretty well reach everywhere. Here's my machine guns. Those are going to need to go up front. And honestly, I'm thinking that right here, in this little area in front of the uh, where the water is, might be a good spot for those. All right, what else? We got our tanks up here. What's this? Snipers. Okay. Snipers I'm going to pull to the back for now until I figure out where I want to go with those. I'll probably try to get him out on his flank somewhere. I'm lagging a bit. Oh, let me check and see what what's up with that because it seems fine on the game for me. Dig trenches. Can you do that on this game? Like I said, I'm brand new to this map. So I have no idea what I'm doing really. More snipers. Let's pull them back. Robert Williamson, how's it going? All right, so then we've got our rifle infantry here, 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 here. Actually, it's probably easier just to look down here to see where everything is. There's my other mortar, so I'm going to bring them over here. I'm just going to go in order of these things. There's my other howitzers. I'm going to pull them back. Now we've got three machine guns. There's one there. The three machine gun groups, I guess. I wonder if we can get one up into these woods. We can put them right here for now, and we'll just have to move them. There's the other one right there. Guten Abend, Pastor Pinzi. How are you today? I am the Germans today. Okay, sniper one, sniper two. Then we've got our rifle infantry. We'll get them all organized as we go. We've only got two tanks. So I mostly just wanted to try the tanks out. I know they're really not going to be that consequential in the battle. You can see how heavily outnumbered I'm going to be in this one because I decided to go four on one, knowing how strong it tends to be if you're on the defense on these battles. I want to get these machine guns in a position now. This seems like a maybe a good spot for machine guns up here. Let's send some infantry over here to support them. Now, can you dig trenches? Somebody said dig trenches. I don't know if they were just kind of talking like, oh, you should have trenches or if there's actually a way you can do that. Here's my gas. I do have the ability to fire gas. I think my howitzers are already firing. World War One with Total, Total War Napoleon. That's exactly it. This is the Great War mod. I'm going to be doing some multiplayer battles with another YouTuber, Grippa Maxentius. So I'm getting a little practice in. Right now, he's kind of sitting tight with his cavalry, and my howitzers are just ripping into him. I'd rather these howitzers were firing on his infantry, though. So let's give them orders to do that. All 
And I'm looking to see if he's got any. There's his general. Look at these guys marching down through the water. We've got a while till they get in range, so we're just going to kind of watch and appreciate the aesthetics of the game. Because that's one thing. Total War is crap for AI, but it's so beautiful to watch. All trenches are deployable that you have to place before it starts. Oh, good to know. The Luftwaffe. No, no, no Luftwaffe. Oh, I see what he's saying. He's saying, uh, is the German Air Force still called the Luftwaffe? I actually don't know that. I would assume they are. Because I think Luftwaffe just means Air Force. Alright, so we got a general here kind of watching as they march on by. So here they come. Looks like he is going to send some cavalry first. They've already lost 13 men. Tannenberg was a disaster for the Russians historically. Why are these? What? No, I don't. Well, I guess I did order them to come up here, didn't I? Let's pull them back. Here's my howitzers. Can I teach us about the French Navy in World War One? Well, honestly, it's it's you know it's it's kind of surprising. There really wasn't a lot to speak of in terms of naval combat in World War One because everybody had built these huge, expensive navies that they didn't want to risk losing. So other than the, the Battle of Jutland, you don't have these really major naval actions. What are these guys here? These are my light mortars. Let's move them up a little bit. I mean, you have submarine unrestricted submarine warfare by the Germans. So let's see if my tanks can get into action here. Who do we got here? Who's coming? Oh, that's my, my uh, rifle infantry coming back. Taking their good old sweet time and doing it. You can see how effective these howitzers are. These guys have already lost 25 men. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's glorious. Their elite infantry is leading the way. I don't know why I had these guys so far out in front. They're trying to get out of the water and get crossed. And I've got machine guns right here. And they're just waiting for the go. Got a couple of tanks here. I'm just kind of hanging back with the infantry right now. I'm going to put, put some of these light mortars right behind the machine guns. Actually, I've got light mortars over here, too, I think. Yeah, I do. So actually, we'll just keep these ones over here. Oh, these are snipers. How do you pronounce uh, Deutsche Luftstreitkraft? Luftstreitkraft, I would guess. I should probably turn these guys around and just have them start shooting right where they are. Oh, here they come. Hey, what are we waiting on here, boys? Anytime you guys want to turn around and fire at the oncoming Russian infantry, that would be great.
All right. Tanks, do your thing. Sounds like my machine guns are firing. Ooh, is that gas? That's gas. He fired gas on me. These are machine guns here. Or is that my gas firing? Just super close to my own lines. Got our mortars firing now. This building has fallen to the enemy. Oh, man. Losing men fast here. But so are they. Fixed bayonets in charge. The song, but with Russians. Yep. Dang. Wow. I don't know what these guys are doing. man yeah so I'm just trying to learn the mod right now this is my first time really playing with it All men are running, sir. our machine guns are falling back oh because he had guys riding through there and there's the gas hitting my men oh boy so honestly gas really only had one battle where it had a chance to really turn the tide and that was the first time it was used because after that, I mean, they were pretty well ready for it. So as much as people talk about the use of gas during World War I, it really had very little practical impact on the war itself. My machine guns in, in range yet? Uh, they're pretty close. I want to see these things fire. So yeah, for anybody who might just be joining, um, first of all, please, if you would hit that like button, I would appreciate that very much. Um, this is a great war mod for Hearts of Iron. Oh, look at that, not Hearts of Iron. Um, for Napoleon Total War, you can see the gas coming in again. Um, I'm just trying to get a feel for the mod because uh, if we can make it work, Agrippa Maxentius and I um, are gonna be doing some multiplayer battles on our channels we'll show his side on his channel my side on my channel uh, just kind of looking for, we've been looking for a collab to do and we kind of decided that this would be a good one to do that where are my snipers let's get the snipers out here i'm gonna put them out here on the on the sides oh these guys are already over here But I'm just trying to get a sense for the mod. And I'm outnumbered 4 to 1 on this battle, so I don't expect to win. JD, what's up? Yeah, it is on mod database. It's pretty easy to install. The machine guns are facing the wrong way, are they? This one looks like it's okay. These ones are definitely facing the wrong way, and I don't know why that is. Because I definitely I, I gave them orders to face the right way. All right, we're throwing back the first Russian attacks. Oh. 
and they're facing the wrong way too. What is the deal with the machine guns? I gave them orders to face this way. Absolutely worthless. Here comes the cavalry. Alright, so that's something we'll have to be more aware of. Is how the machine guns don't really like to face the right way. I'm going to turn these guys this way and try to get into their flanks a little bit over there. Or protect my flanks. Oh, look at all that gas. Oh, here come the Russians right into my lines. There's a reason we're not firing here. There we go. Yeah, Robert, um, somebody already answered it, but Oak Ridge, Tennessee is where they did most of the work for the Manhattan Project, for the A-bombs. Um, the parts were built in a couple of different places. I think in Washington State was one of them. Tennessee was another. They were assembled on Tinian, though. They were sent on different ships. Actually, I think the second one was sent by air. Snipers are getting out here by the railroad, but there's not a lot for them to do at the moment. And the Russians still have a ton of men, because I, I chose a pretty heavy Russian army for this. What's my tank doing? Just chilling. Hey, how about you attack somebody? Oh my gosh, look at all the blood. They're attacking my tank. I don't know what my guard infantry unit's doing. Who do we got firing in here? The People's Militia. They found some good cover. Zachary, what's up? Uh-oh. And the game crashed. It does that sometimes. Okay. Uh, that's what that's what when uh, one of the other things that we talked about we were concerned about was that the game does tend to crash so we'll go ahead and try it one more time we'll see what happens and if it uh, crashes on us again we'll uh, maybe go do some more thunder can I play rule the waves too yeah you know what I just installed it on my desktop so that's something we could take a look at while we're waiting for um, ultimate admiral Dreadnoughts to get a campaign. Sega. Yeah, so this is a fun mod, but it's a very unstable mod for sure. Maybe we'll try dropping the graphics and see if that keeps it. I mean, I can handle it on very high but maybe maybe that's what's causing the crash so we'll try this again we'll see how it goes and then maybe we'll uh we'll start a do a little bit of a war thunder if we have the same problem so you can do campaigns on this uh so maybe let's just play around with the campaign a little bit and then we can get into a battle that way uh so let's try 
Yeah, we'll take on Germany to start. We'll make it difficult. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. We're just going to play around with it a little bit. We'll just see kind of how the features are for the campaign a little bit. Kind of take a look at that some. Have you heard of Sabaton's Attack of the Dead Men? No, I have not. All right. Would you like to enforce loyal factions? That will keep all the major alliances of World War I together. Uh, sure, why not? All right, so... Where are we starting? What's the time frame? Early August, so the war has already begun. There we got Alsace, Lorraine right here. That's kind of the front lines of things. So what do we got here? Some rifle infantry old, some light howitzers. Let's look at our government. Kaiser Friedrich Wilhelm II. I don't know why it says Friedrich. Wasn't he just Wilhelm II? Uh, anyway. There's all of our territory. Ministers, who do we have here? Gottlieb, uh, Salter, Walter Heine, Gustav Feld, August Haas, Berthold Lab. Admiral von Tirpitz, there he is, all right. Okay, so let's get into some action here. Let's just send this army out. And we'll send them over toward France. We'll do some more recruitment. What can we recruit there? Just field guns and conscripts. Challenge me to an online battle in Empire Total War. If I can get it to work. I have had a really hard time getting the online battles to work on my computer for some reason. That's been kind of the holdup for me in doing that. But if I can get it to work, yes, I'll accept. All right, I'm just going to push this forward just because I want to try and get into another battle. Captain Rex, I believe that fort is in the game. As one of the battles, uh, or I mean, they don't really have the battles. They really just have the battlefields set up that you can use. I'll show you in uh, a few minutes after we do another battle here in the campaign. Uh, following a buildup of suspicion and distrust between these two nations, their alliance is broken down. Wait, what? The German and Austrian alliance just broke down on the first turn? What is up with that? Does that mean I don't have to go to war? Because if Germany doesn't have to defend Austria-Hungary, then they don't need to go to war. I'm just trying to advance through this to get to a war, situ a battle situation here. Okay, his full name was Friedrich uh, Wilhelm Victor Albert von Prussen. Okay, that makes sense. I mean, he was known as Kaiser Wilhelm II, but I know those guys always have a lot of names, like uh, Prince Charles is... Charles Philip Arthur George. What's up, Dr. Shrimp? All right. So we got our recruited unit. We're going to try to take Reims. We'll see if this big French army... Oh, boy. <laughs> So these are armed citizens mostly, and then a reinforcing army. So let's go ahead and fight it. See what happens. So yeah, Kaiser Wilhelm was the eldest grandson of Queen Victoria. And, you know, all these guys were related to each other, um, and their wives were related to each other. Tsar Nicholas II of Russia and King George V of the UK look like they could have been twin brothers. Felix. 
All right, so we're going to be fighting over the town here. Let's get these guns back a little ways. And get them unlimbered and firing. And let's go. These are light howitzers this time. Yes. Oh, there's the rest of the French army. We're going to let the howitzers do their work for a little while here. I'm actually pretty content to let them come at me if they'll do that. Let's see what's happening. They're crossing each other. They don't know what they're doing. A lot of this army that we're facing is just armed citizens, like right here. Hey, they have uniforms, I mean, so that's something, right? I wonder if my howitzers can take out these guns back here. They're just at the edge of their range. Let's see if we can hit them. What are these? These are old field guns. All right, we took out one of his men. All right, let's see what's going on here. Are they coming at me yet? Where are these guys going? Oh, that's right, I'm moving over this way. Looks like he's shifting everybody that way, so we may have to do the same. I'm going to move these guys here and move these guys over here. Then we can build Nelson. You're right, Julie. Incest loving royals, that's for sure. Hey, take care, Julie. Yeah, the artillery does sound cool, doesn't it? Even these older guns. Let's see if we're having any effect on his guns or not. There, yeah, we sure did there. We just killed all his horses. We overshot a little bit. I'm trying to take out the guns. Not entirely sure why he's sending those guys back there. Looks like we're about to start firing, though. Somebody summon, oh, you're talking about uh, Nelson? You have to sing uh, Rule Britannia. Rule Britannia, rule the waves, Britons never, never shall be slaves. You've heard the song, you just might not be familiar with it. It's the one that goes dun 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 That's Rule Britannia. You love them fireworks? Yeah, I, you know, I, those are my favorite ones too, Michael. The ones that like to just make the really loud boom. And they have that kind of that flash. Those are always my favorites. I'm going to miss those this year because most fireworks are canceled. Looks like he's not actually attacking. All right, let's get these guns firing on his men then. If they're just going to stand here. We're going to make them move. Lovely blue uniforms you have there, Frenchie. Would be a shame... If something happened to them. Here it comes. There's one getting close. These guys are just going to stand here and take it. Very unfrench like There's a hit! Oh, the bodies go a flying. Dang. Alright, close ranks and get hit again. 
they're not planning on moving apparently so as long as they're gonna do that we're just gonna let them take it so once I get my guys into place let's go ahead and get moved up here onto this hill that's right at the edge of the map we'll go ahead and start moving into range But we'll just let the guns keep doing their thing as long as he's going to stand here and like it. I'll switch and start firing on this one now. Nelson, it worked! It always works! It always works. Zachary, uh, I'm not as highly skilled at this game as I am at some others. I would put my ultimate general Civil War skills up against anybody, but Total War is a different story. I got a long way to go on this, especially on a new mod. But yeah, I think it'd be fun to do some multiplayer battles if we can get it working. All right, as soon as I get everybody into place, I'm gonna go ahead and advance on him. So we'll uh, we'll fast forward here a little bit. Mission successful. As a general once said, the red trousers are France. Okay. Man, I don't know why he's just taking this like this. He's just waiting for me to attack him. We're almost ready. How about we target his general? All right, Nelson, have fun cleaning. I agree, Grumblebee. I think if Ultimate General Civil War were um, multiplayer, oh my gosh, that the replayability with that would be endless especially if it were easy to mod easier to mod i know there are mods for it not many i'm waiting for one to land right in the middle of these guys and wipe out the whole thing obviously with the guns i have they're kind of old and not very accurate Okay, let's take these guys down. We're just about there. There's a World War II mod for Rome 1. I have not seen that. How close do we need to be to get in range for the guns? And a little closer. Yeah, those horses are remarkably calm considering the artillery that's crashing all around them. I'm honestly, look at all the craters. I'm a little disappointed I haven't hit more of them. There's still 15 of them left. Alright, let's hit these guys. We haven't hit this unit yet. And we should be just about in range. Okay, in fact, we are firing. Oh, 
Oh, maybe not. Not quite in range. We need to get up to about right here. Bonjour. Aims for ores, it's everything else. That's about it, Andrew. That's about it. You can see the orange lines. That marks kind of the range of my guns. Oh, here he comes now. He was waiting for me to come in closer. Oh, boy. Why are we not in combat? Oh. Oh, here comes his guns now. Dang. That was brutal. Can't quite see him up over there. Yeah, these guys got hit by artillery and fell back right away. These guys I'm having a hard time hitting because of where they are. Oh, they're up over the hill now. I need to get up on top of this hill. Man, I've lost a lot of men now. You posted hey, Mr. B, but Battle of Midway in this mod? Or are you talking about the mod in Rome 1? Oh man, we're getting owned now. Wow. He was just waiting for us to come in close. And then he just tore me up. My goodness, every one of my units lost 50% casualties just in a matter of minutes. So here's the armed citizens, oh, armed veterans. Veterans of what, the Franco-Prussian War? Don't look that way. Good night. Well, that was ugly. Game, please crash, Captain Rex says. Did I download Empire on Steam? Uh, yes, I did. But the mods I installed manually. Zachary, they wanted to crash because I said if it crashes again, I'd switch over to War Thunder for a little bit. I think we'll go ahead and do that anyway. We could probably play at least a couple matches on War Thunder. So let's do that. I'm going to drop out of this. I'm going to create a new stream. So it'll say the right thing. And we'll see you back here in a couple minutes with some War Thunder.